around here, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we live. We live, baby. Top of the evening. Yeah, we back. We back, we back, we back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Top of the evening. Another late night with yours truly. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm going to definitely speak on the Yuri shit. Uh, We're going to talk about a few things tonight, man. Diddy, your ass on the run, church. What the fuck going on, man? You got too much money to be running from these people. Yeah, man. Let's come on up and through this motherfucker one time. Everybody feeling the night. Y'all know how it is. I like to run my shows late. You know, I've been trying to start a little earlier, coming through to come hang out, chop it up. This is the new way of podcasting. Nothing in the room. It's the new way. This is the new trend. I'm starting the trend. Nothing in the room. Nothing. Nothing's in here but what we need. <laughs> Definitely uh, want to touch on uh, what shit I don't want to say. I want to touch on anything with this man's name in it, but I definitely want to speak on the Diddy situation and what's been going on with him and him moving around and him pacing outside of Miami airports and, you know, all the riffraff and commotion that's going on around the main. He looks stressed. Like, bro, you got too much money to be standing outside walking back and forth pacing anywhere, church. Yeah, no. Nah. He got to get it together. That ain't it. <laughs> that is not it. You know, I'll be honest. And, you know, I look back at the Cassie situation, you know, and him settling out so quick to why so many people came right after that, man, and start just coming and putting daggers in him, man, just dagger after dagger. He should have at least fought that. He should have fought that, to be honest. He shouldn't have, uh, he, he shouldn't have settled out of court because the shit came out anyway. You might as well have fought it. You know, you got your kids getting pulled out of houses today, feds raiding shit. They got little... Little King Combs, they got him, man. You know what I'm saying? Handcuffed. Got the young King handcuffed, man. He outside. He don't know what's going on. He just wanna, he just wanna get jiggy. He just wanna do shit like his daddy do. 
You know? <laughs> he shouldn't have never gave it up that quick, though. I'm going to be honest. The money, that is. You know? He should have never gave it up that quick. Because all that did was bring people to want to attack. Now, oh, he's paying. Got to get it while the getting is good. If she's getting some bread for some bullshit, why can't he? Like, and I ain't going to say it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's bullshit what the what the lady went through with him and endured, but she did stay. I mean, she did stay there for a long time throughout all this. That's why I never really understand if it bothered you, why didn't you get out? It just never made any sense to me, you know. But um, I do get it. I'm not gonna sit there and say that she ain't go through some shit. Hey, if she deserved thirty million or deserved thirty dollars, you know what I'm saying? I mean. But when he settled out of court so quick, you know, um, here, here goes the 30 million. Bro, you might as well have fought that, bro. You had a better, hey, and then fight it. And even if you did have to pay, let people know who's trying to come behind her that you set an example. You're not going for that shit, homie. For you to sit there and just sign on the dotted line like just here. And then people try to take care of it with you in private. If the shit already came out, might as well fight it, bro. I don't get what's going on. And everybody else saw that, so they like, oh, shit, he's trying to give it up? All right. Bros don't want to go to jail. I get it. He made a lot of bread. The man's worth a lot of money. Yeah, I think uh, he should have fought that one, man. I don't think that it should have just been just a quick exchange. Like, bro, fuck that shit because you just set the tone for everybody to come and mess with you straight up. It's crazy, man. You just opened the door. It's open season for you, church. I don't get why you uh why you even played that route. I would have just fought the shit. If we really going to look at it, fight it. Fuck it. Why not? Even if you lose, you're still setting an example. You're still setting an example, man. Come on, church. Kill squad in the build, man. Nomads, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Nothing but love for y'all, man. Hockey stick it the fuck up. That boy should have never, hey, man, I would have just fought the shit. Fuck it. Why not? What's the worst that's going to happen? Yeah, I might have to end up paying her, but I'm about to let other motherfuckers know it ain't just going to be that easy. You're going to have to have your ass in court. For real. I have your ass in motherfucking court, nigga. The hell you got going on? Playing with these people. Now you over there pacing outside the Miami International. Bubble guts. You don't know if you want to throw up or take a shit. You know? I get it, bro. I, hey, I fucking get it. When something like maybe not his position and what he going through, th that particular situation, but I do understand. Like, I get it. I fucking get it. Yeah, man. I ain't got my homie over here tonight, my homie Scante Hockey Sticks. But, you know, I'm going to bring him back on through. Nigga crazy. Once the feds get involved, I want people to understand this. And people that, I'm sure there's some people, there's people that do understand this and there's some that don't. When the feds get in your business... It's best for you just not to say nothing because they already know something. Feds don't just come for nothing, homie. It doesn't work that way. It's not like the regular police knocking on your door talking about they just got a warrant. Search some shit and they don't find it. They leave it. No, nigga, you're going. You're going. When the feds get up on you, they're nine to, they're eight to nine times out of ten, they already got what they was looking for. They just coming to get you.
Haters coming to get you. The feds will be coming. Oh, yeah. And when they come, somebody going to jail. So just know that when you see them jackets, the motherfuckers say FBI. You see the badge on them that's hanging around their neck, say FBI. Just know. You might don't even say anything. Best bet. Don't even say nothing. Wait for your lawyer, man. That's the that's your best the best chance you got. Don't talk about nothing. Don't talk to nobody. Don't even get on no phones talking about nothing to nobody, man. Nothing, 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 nothing. Talk to your motherfucking lawyer, man. Straight up. And I do believe that Diddy got some, he got some issues coming, man. He got some issues coming. And it just, it sucks on me because it's like everything that's like that in the dark when you're doing shit like that to people or around people always comes to light. But it's like, damn, being a high-profile celebrity too, like... Yeah, he he's a freaky nigga, but I believe you can't rape or do something to the willing. These people were there. Meek Mills, you was dressing like the nigga, gang. You can't even, it's, and you know, it's hard for you to hop in your scat pack right now, man, and run off from this one. You know what I'm saying? Because you entertain the shit too, Meek. You entertain the shit too. Let's keep it real. Yeah, man. Kill squad in the building, man. No mans. You did? I don't know why I'm riding. But you got your kids outside. And you know, you got people going crazy around you. And they just saying whatever. Like I said, with Meek Mill, he's over there. Somebody needed, somebody should have been to that nigga's social media and phones, bro. You ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. Why the fuck didn't you just get online, Meek? And tell them, look, I don't know about all this shit, but my album dropped tonight. And let that shit settle what it's going to settle, man. For real, bro. Some shit fixes itself. But when somebody always wants to sit there and poke open wound, nigga, the wound's on you. Nigga, stop touching it. That's the only way it's going to heal. Keep moving. Let's keep that shit real. Keep your ass moving, bro. What the fuck is you on? I personally don't understand that, but hey, I guess these stay on. You know, hey, Meek, it's your career, bud. It's your career. It's your career. Juan Sebastian said, made an approach to a Swiss model, need more game to move her. What type of topics can be used to move her? Well, I'll tell you this, bro. Why don't you engage in the conversation and the shit that she likes and see where that stands for you? Don't force it. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't got to always, you ain't got to mess with her like that. Still be her friend, bro. Just be her friend. It's easy. Try that part first. See if you even really want the bitch. See if you even want the bitch for real. How about you do that first for me? Hang out with the bitch and just chill. Everybody always think once they come together, just because you like each other, you got to be with each other. No, it's not the way it has to be. Um, yeah, my man Diddy running. I'm hearing that his jet had landed on some Caribbean island. I don't know if it was today or yesterday. 
I don't want to speak too much on what I don't know about that. But what I do know is that his jet was definitely, um, it definitely landed over on a Caribbean island. But there is no actual, which we seen him in Miami. You know what I'm saying? I don't know which day that was. We don't know when any of these videos shit's coming out new, but we don't know what any of this shit really is. You know what I'm saying? And what time it took place. But obviously, I mean, it shows to me the way I'm looking at it. He wasn't on the jet. So I wonder what the fuck was going on with that. Usher a victim. A lot of these niggas, man, was around these niggas. All right, listen, man. You can't say Usher was a victim when... These guys have hung around this dude multiple times. Multiple times. I mean, ooh, how do we how do we classify victim at this point, chat? How do we classify that? Like as such, like where, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Yeah. People say Usher was a minor shit. So was Aaliyah. But we never know who's signing off on this shit. Her parents knew about that shit. They was cool with it. As long as they was getting that money on. You did. That's all they wanted. You ever notice when motherfuckers want to stop paying or people need bread, it always relates. It always circles around money. <coughs> It always does. It circles around money. Look at that. Bill Cosby's out. You know? Come on. And I'm going to be honest with you. I never, um, that part I never really understood, right? Like was with like just even the whole money situation and things like that. Like it just, I don't I just, I don't get it, man. It's like once a motherfucker stop paying, that, that like motherfucker start, motherfucker needs some bread. They come out with all this shit. Like, how does money, and this is where I'm trying to get to, like, how does money dictate, like, if you were raped or something like that? I'm not saying don't get your issue. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying don't get your issue. If that's, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you should have some money for some pain and suffering. That's what you really went through. You know what I'm saying? But I never got the part of, you know, like you could put a price on it to make it go away. Like they'll just forgive and forget. Like, all right, it's cool. Yeah, you gave me fucking 20 million. Yeah, straight. I like, appreciate it. Yeah, you rate me. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Tap hands up, do do. All right, we out of here. I never really understood that. I never understood that shit. How is it that some money, some money, some bread can like make that feeling go away? Like that's something that's supposed to be like, that's going to be a part of your life forever. Like, yeah, the money, like people don't even care about no jail sentence. They don't care about if this person's not doing this to other people. They just want a couple bucks. They just want to get the money. Once they get the money, they give a fuck. Who else he done did it to? They ain't sitting there banding together like, yeah, we need to stop this. No, nah, once they get their bread, they out. It's, it's just crazy to me. Like, if it really fucks with you and it bothers you, I just feel like I ain't even going for a set of May, man. Whatever they feel like is, is, is suitable, if that would be the case. But going there, like, where it really bothered you. Like, motherfuckers don't even, I don't know. I just don't see where it, the, the effect, where it's affecting people. Hey, I get it. I mean, we're not sitting there in the courtrooms with these people neither. But it's just like, damn, all I ever hear is the millions involved. Like, give up some millions. Millions. And then once one does it, the other one does it. It's like a domino effect. domino effect here comes eight more 
That's why I said for Diddy. Diddy should have fought that shit. See, Diddy, if you was hanging out with Kill Squad, man, no man, hey, you, you would have never had that problem. I'm trying to tell you, niggas, call in and get some game. Come sit down and get some. You should have never been in there. And Diddy, let's be real, bro. For your big, and this, this all jokes aside, because I'm talking shit, but like, for your big old age, church, you should have knew. You knew this shit was going to happen. All me, it was going to take place, bro. You should have. And I feel like it really started with that Cassie shit. Because, nigga, there's always been allegations about him. You know what I'm saying? And shit that he's done. Like, whatever, right? But it's never went to a far to where, like, hey, yeah, it's being openly known. I mean, I think he's, he's settled out for some other shit before. I mean, obviously, it ain't nothing that's major because nobody's sitting there really bringing up them the, any other time. But that 30 million really stuck. That 30 M's, nigga, and with somebody that she was fucking with and she ends up getting that bread, no problems. It says a lot. Kill squad in the building, mate. Hockey stick it the fuck up, man. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, Diddy running. Diddy on the run. Should have got him, hey, man. Came and hung out with the hockey sticks. Now, what's wrong with him pacing back and forth like you just out in the open, church? Look, come on, man. Pull it, pull it together. I know you want some fresh air, but there's some other places you could have got some fresh air at. Just saying, man, you outside like you showing like it looks so bad, like. Like you worried about something, you pacing back and forth. Like what's going on? Like, come on, dog, you gotta stay kind of out the eye right now, bro. Feds looking for you, church. Like, I know they ain't come just to get your son, and I know they didn't come to have no motherfucking tea and cookies, nigga, no milk and cookies. So, you you you're gonna have to figure that out, bro. You ain't gonna be able to run too long. You're not going to be able to run. I'm sorry. Like, not from them, church. This ain't no state case. This ain't no state case, nigga. It's federal. Oh, they going to try to get you, for sure. That one ain't going nowhere till you see them people. It's fucked up, but it's the truth. To be running, church. I see y'all asking about uh, my homie Scante hockey sticks. That's the homie kill squad, man. Fuck with Comparator. Me and Andy did a four-hour stream the other day. Ran for about three hours and 44 minutes, I believe. Diddy, do us all a favor, gang. Get that shit out the way. Get it out the way, bro. Go go, get it out your system. Go drink. Go have a good time. But, man, you know you're going to want to be over here. Just go and take care of your business, church. At your convenience, though. I ain't a... I can't tell a nigga when to, you know, have to go play with them people or do what he got to do with them people. I fucking, I've been there. I completely understand, 100%. But, nigga, you're going to have to do it, bro. He going to have to do it. He got too much money, dog. That nigga going to, feds get to season your accounts. They going to try to, they're going to try to, uh, they're going to try to smoke him out for sure. That'll be what's next, freezing assets and shit. Unless he got some offshore shore accounts. Nobody know about. I'm sure he'd be smart enough to uh, 
put something together where you got a bag sitting somewhere across overseas. But, I mean, hey. You know? Real shit. I hope you got an offshore account or something sitting. I'm sure you got some money because that's what'll come next. He don't want to come. Hey, they smoke him out. No smoke bombs in that motherfucker. Come on. All right, freeze his assets. He ain't gonna be moving like that. They're not gonna this feds, homie. This shit gets once it gets federal, you gotta think about it. I'm sure he's got accounts over here, big ones with a lot of money in it. Unless that nigga knew. And he start trying to move that shit. Real shit. Mm-mm. No, hell no. That nigga got to step it up. Get his money. He no better than this one. He better have his money put tucked up somewhere because, boy, they going to freeze the fuck out of that. They already done came and ran in your houses, nigga. You know they know. You know that they're going through the steps. See, the problem is, right, nigga say, Sharp, you would have hung out with Diddy. You know, nigga, you go, hey, listen to me, dog. If I was to go do anything with Diddy, I know Diddy got a lot of connections of plugs. But, nigga, I know what type of nigga he is. Why the fuck would I go do anything? These niggas choose to party with this nigga. They choose to party with this nigga. I'm not going to party. Hey, bro, you got some business for me to handle? Can you plug me with somebody that might be able to point me in the right direction of where I'm trying to go? Cool. If not, hey, nigga, I don't need to go to no parties because I heard what go on. So, look, why would niggas even go there? Like, these niggas chose to go there. The fuck? What we really on? Let's really think about it. These niggas all, nobody told Meek Mill to put the same clothes on this nigga got on and go around twinning. Niggas knew he was weird when he was sending people to walk clear across the motherfucking city to go get him some cheesecake. Come on, church. He been showed you. He been showed you what it was. I don't know. I can't blame one man when there's too many people involved. You see what I'm saying? Like, for real. I ain't saying he ain't at fault. I'm not saying that about Diddy. I'm not saying that nigga's not at fault. And he done did some shit. He might have did some shit. He might not. I mean, I'm not his judge and jury. I'm not here to judge the nigga. I don't. It's not on me. But I know that he's not the only one that's involved. There's a lot of people that are involved. No defense. We just, you got to look at it as a whole, bro. It's so easy to look at it one way and be done with it. All right, he did all this, get all of his money and lock him up. Whatever, right? Whatever you do with him. That's the easy route. Instead of dissecting who's really telling the truth and who's not. So what? You can, anybody in this, in this fucking chat right now, right, can go and... Say that Diddy did some shit to him because you was at a party one night. You could say that he did some shit to you and get some money. Shit don't even be true. I'm just saying, let the shit stand that's true for show. But the shit that's not, there's going to be a lot of bullshit with it too. So people got to know how to dissect that. I like to watch the news. When you watch the news, a lot of that shit, some shit's true. A lot of it's bullshit. You got to know how to sort through the dirty laundry, homie. You got to know how to set, sort through the dirty laundry, period, point blank. If you're going to look at anybody's situation, anything that they got going on, especially P. Diddy, homie. 
You have to. Don't just look at it because we've all heard the stories. All right, cool. But you got to think about it. There's going to be some people that come out the woodwork that's not telling the truth. Fucking Janice Dickerson said fucking uh, Bill Cosby did something to her. It's all in the tabloids. Motherfuckers is going crazy about it. And to come to find out that the shit's not even true. Like the bitch was lying. That man wouldn't be out right now. They didn't want him to buy NBC. Let's talk about the truth. And that's some real shit about Bill Cosby. He was about to buy NBC. If you ever notice when a black man's about to get something major, about to change the game, something like this comes out. It's like a fucking ace in the back pocket. It's like... If they get too big, this is what we going to use to shut them down. For real. Dead ass serious. This is what we're going to use to shut them down. You feel me? Quick. They be keeping it for years. They don't want some, some people. Let me tell you something. And how you get big or your popularity, you're like, and when you about to make money, don't ever believe that there's not no limit or no cap to that shit. You get a little too big, that's when they start cutting your water off. That's why you know what I noticed? That's why I can respect about old traditions and shit like that because a lot of motherfuckers, like, you know, old school, like, they quiet, quiet with their money. And I get it. We live in a world these days where it's temptations everywhere, so it's hard to be quiet with your bridge. You know what I'm saying? They tried to shut that man down, Bill Cosby, and then let him out. Come on, church. Y'all put that man in jail. He in there telling bad jokes. Somebody, I think, threw mashed potatoes or some shit at him because he told a bad joke in jail. Y'all got this old this senior citizen in jail, church. And let me tell you something. If he did that shit, he would not be out right now. Why is Bill Cosby out? All charges were dropped. All charges was dropped. All charges was dropped against him. And I ain't into sticking up for no pedos or no rapists, no nothing. But we can't let that be abused either because when people hear those words, it's automatically like it's it's true. You know what I'm saying? And we and people know how to play on that. People will use these things as tools, man. I know we're not fucking dumb here. Let's attempt to grow a fucking brain. Like, what the fuck? Like, are, what, where, where are we at in life at this point? Like, nobody knows. Everybody just believes what they see and hear. Damn. The most gullible motherfuckers yet. Super Chat, uh, Lucero, appreciate you. Taj appreciate you. Christina Newton said some of that shit is bullshit. Money is the root of all evil. Hell yeah. And you ain't allowed to have too much of it. So don't ever get that fucked up. Don't ever get that fucked up. I'm looking at both aspects. We have to, man, as people. We got to make sure that this shit is true. Because there's too many people. Until somebody, we have to make sure, homie. Everybody deserves that go around. Especially for something of this magnitude. You deserve a fair, a fair shot at it. If it's true, it's true. But if it's not, you have to look at that too. Don't be a fucking idiot. Like, damn, dog, like, I 
hate when people say stupid shit. And I don't even want to say your name. I don't even want to say, like, you're saying stupid shit, bro. Like, stop, dog. You're not looking at it. You're not looking at it straight. I like to look at things from both angles, man. I just want to make sure everybody get their fair shake and it ain't just people putting shit on things, putting dubs on shit. That's how I am, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm not into just, oh, when you say something about somebody, that's just what it stands for. No, nigga, prove it. That's the problem. Everybody just lets people say shit, but they ain't got no proof behind it. You ask them, like, when you really start to dissect certain shit, you're going to see a lot of the shit was just blown up. Like, it just had extra sauces on it and things. It was dressed up to be a certain thing. And it could have stemmed from, it could have stemmed from a truth, but it starts to turn into other people's truths because everybody these days has a fucking opinion about everybody's life. On and you know if you're gonna do it because anytime I ever talk to somebody, I tell them they fucking face hate it or love my content. I've always told anybody if there's anything I ever felt, I sit there and I'm gonna tell you like, hey, that ain't no, nah, that ain't it. But when you sit back and you know you got people at the masses that sit on computers or sit there leaving comments, you know shit like that. That shit starts and we all know it's true. It sits there and it blows it out of proportion to where now the shit's kind of the flame is not containable. You know what I'm saying? This shit's a full blown forest fire. It's like, how do you stop that? We know what I'm talking about, man. Shit gets blown up on people. And it's like I said for the Diddy situation. I'm not saying that he didn't do some shit. I don't know if he did or he didn't until all the shit comes out and it unravels. I'm, not, I'm a firm believer in looking at paperwork, man. And when everything's all said and done. But I get it. Not everybody lives like that. Everybody just, you know, puts their speculation to it. And their speculation is their truth. You know, so I get it. Everybody got an opinion. But it's like an asshole. Everybody got one of them, too. So, I mean, what the fuck? What are we really doing? He's being talked about everywhere. So, anything that comes up about him now is believable. Everybody believing it, even if it ain't true. We could say Diddy was fucking donkeys. You know what I'm saying? And somebody say it with some conviction, guess what? That shit's going to spread that, that P. Diddy was fucking donkeys. You know what I'm saying? I mean... Come on, dog. I mean, let's be real. Like, I'm just trying to make sure we don't just put extra dressing on it, dog. I ain't saying a nigga ain't fucking, he ain't do what he did or he, he did it or he didn't do it. I'm That's not for me to say. What I'm here to say is we can't be putting extras on shit. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't put nothing past anybody because, I mean, yeah, even Yuri, like, Yuri was fucking oranges, you know what I'm saying? Like, people do shit, weird shit, I don't know, people, I don't know what goes on. I really don't. And to see that whole situation unravel, I mean, let's talk about it. Can we sit there and say that Yuri really crashed out for the people that don't, the people that do know him. I hate that I even got to talk about this shit, but I feel like it's been moving around and people want to call things crash outs that really were not that. That man been talking like that to that woman since I can remember, since I've seen it. Like, if you know what I'm saying, on camera, like, that nigga didn't do shit. 
And he ain't gonna do shit. He don't. He ain't never touched that girl. I don't think he ever been. He don't even be really raising his voice. From what I hear, he says it the same way. Now he might say it in a dickhead standpoint, but who are we to tell anybody how to deal with they chick, nigga? The fuck you ain't with her. Everybody say they want to be with her, but you don't know what comes with her. That's the problem with motherfuckers. That's the problem, motherfuckers. Y'all don't know what the fuck them people over there dealing with, man. For real. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Everybody think they know. Everybody think they they want her or whatever. And I ain't saying she's not a pretty girl. She's an attractive girl. That's cool. But you don't know really come with her to make him say anything that he say. Like, I ain't saying she ain't nice to him. I'm saying, but in relationships, it, it take two to tango, man. It's not just one person. That's the problem. Everybody's just one-sided in things, homie. Takes two to tango. He ain't innocent and she ain't either. They both in the mix. It takes both of them, man. It takes two to tango, man. I mean, you're talking to somebody, yeah, you might want to say, I'm just a washed up old ex pin whatever the fuck you want to say. That's cool, but nigga, all my credentials check out. I was really wanting him, him, him at these. You know, so I've had a couple of situations. I know how that shit goes. It take two to tango, man. It's not just one person. You feel me? It's not. It's not one person. You can't say that. Everybody just want to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, Yuri been fucking her over. Yuri been talking shit to her. Like, y'all, man, shut up, man. Y'all niggas ain't got no bitches. Y'all niggas ain't never had a bitch. Somebody or uh, Y'all ain't never had a man in your life. Like, come on, man. Let's be real, nigga. You ain't had a man or you ain't had a woman. Like, if you don't understand that. Like, come on. You must have, you, you stay by yourself constantly. I love making content. Um, I love bringing what I bring to y'all. You know, it's my truth, my transparency. Um, you know, my love, man, and I appreciate y'all support. But I can't do all that shit. 30, 30 days and 30 nights, nigga, in hell and 30 nights at Freddy's. And I'm cool. I can't do that shit. Like, fuck that. That shit, I think, would drive anybody crazy. I'm sure y'all would agree. Like, that shit would drive anybody crazy. Like, think about it, being on stream for 30 days. Nigga, what the fuck's going on with people, man? 30 days. Like, yeah, the hell? I can't do it. I mean, DJ stay on. Shout out to Yuri. You know what I'm saying? This, this lovely lady, Yuri. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking, what's her name? See, that's how you know I don't even be fucking with Riley. So, you know, I don't ever think about the girl like shit. I'm going to say Yuri and Yuri. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't know. I'm just, she's, she's a nice girl, but I ain't never, first and foremost, I don't look at nobody that I fuck with or have fucked with chick like that. I just don't. Like, I don't even be, to be real. Pretty girl, but I just, mm -mm. you know what I think it is? Because I always look at it like this, right? I always measure a chick. And this is some real shit. And I'll say it for this and I'll leave. And like I said, it's no diss to her, nothing. But I don't ever just measure a chick by her beauty. I measure a chick from the type of nigga she used to fuck with or is probably currently fucking with. So I, that tells me a lot. You know what I'm saying? That tells me a lot when I, I see the type of person or whatever it is that you deal with or do or you fuck with that person like that tells me a lot about you because you chose that as well right or wrong i mean you chose that as well so that kind of like that can turn me on to a chick or off on a chick because i'm gonna look at the type of dude that you was either fucking with or you know what i'm saying i mean i'm not trying to diss yuri listen homie i'm just saying church don't take baths Church don't like to wear deodorant. Church don't like to brush his teeth. Church done did some shit. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I get it. Some people like to live like that. But it just, it fucks with my mind because I'm not that type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? 
So I'm just keeping it a band. Like, I ain't taking nothing from Yuri. Hey, my nigga, you, you like to live like that? Hey, church, nothing but love to you, brother. You know, but for me, if people would ever want to see if I look at somebody chick like that, I'm going to look at the type of nigga you, you done dealt with or who you done fucked with. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown-ass man. I mean, I'm not a little-ass kid. So I look at shit, certain shit like, hey, it'll tell you a lot about a person and vice versa from, you know, a man fucking with a woman. You know what I'm saying? It's going to tell you a lot. That's why I just don't be, I don't know. I, just, I look at shit just a little a tad bit differently. I, I know how to dissect it a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. That's just me. I mean, you know, he can wash his ass, do certain shit, church, you know. You might not go through that. And don't worry about what the fuck she done did on camera, church, with some people 10 years ago. Hey, it wasn't an OnlyFans, Yuri. It wasn't some nigga she sat down with them people. And like she said, one of them was gay, so she wasn't there on no sexual movement or no nothing. They were trying something on YouTube and shit a long time ago. That's what people were doing on YouTube, was trying shit, man. You can't, don't knock that girl for that, bro. Like, leave that shit alone, my nigga. Like, you, you starting shit, Yuri, for nothing. Yeah, you starting shit for nothing, church. Like, leave that shit alone, my nigga. I told you before. Like, sometimes you just got to church. Just, come on. Not everything for the camera, gang. Not everything for the camera. Birkenstocks. There you go, nigga. <laughs> That's some Birkenstocks for you. There you go. No, and like I said, Riley, she's a nice, she's a nice girl. I have nothing bad to say about her. She seems like she's a she's a cool. I like I don't talk about people like she's far. Oh my god, she's bad. Or, oh, she's the sweetest girl ever. Like I don't talk about niggas chicks like that. I think that's it's kind of odd. I mean, but I get it. Like I said, to each their own. I just think she's a nice girl. I've worked with her before. She's um. She's ran the boards on a few of my interviews. I think she's ran the boards on a very iconic one. I'm sure she she's been there. She definitely been there, so shout out to her, you know. And I guess that's where me and her have built that history of, you know what I'm saying, us working together. So she's cool. And I shit, I'd work with her again. Shit, if she came back, shit's nothing. But Donnie is my nigga, man. That's my dude right there. And uh me and him, we've done a lot of iconic shit too. But shit, if she came back, shit, I wouldn't mind her running the boards. Shit, I ain't got nothing against baby at all. But I just don't think all that shit need to be on camera, though. For real. Kill Squad. Nomad. Hockey, stick it the fuck up, church. We in the building. It's a late night show with yours truly. Y'all know what it is, man. I'm going to stay running these things right here, man. We ain't going to stop, baby. We ain't going to stop. I love what we doing. You hear me? I love what we going. Fuck cyberbullying. All you niggas that do it and hide behind shit are true hoes. That's what Kill Squad was created for, is to stop the cyberbullying. So fuck you niggas. I'll say that one, you know, with the utmost no respect. Um, let's keep this shit going, man. You know? Let's keep this shit going, man. Let's keep this shit lit, for real. We're going to start getting them running up over at Brick House. 
shit gonna start moving, man. You know, it's uh, it's just the beginning. This is just the beginning of something great. I went to that um that freak nick, that Hulu, had a Hulu event last night. Shout out to uh, Frank Williams, P. Frank Williams. Frank P. Williams. I always call him P. Frank. That's my nigga right there. Shout out to him. He had a dope ass event over at General Mission last night for the Hulu. He had uh they had showed the Freak Nick documentary. And I ain't gonna lie to you, that shit was kinda dope. I didn't think it was gonna be that that cool because like the way they really dove into some of the things that was happening during Freak Nick was crazy. I was like, damn, and this shit was happening in the 90s, early 90s. Yeah, but that uh, that Freak Nick documentary, that shit was dope. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Y'all should definitely check that shit out. Here's a freebie for you. Adam's gonna make this fool wear a skirt by the end of this year. If Adam make me wear a skirt by the end of this year, I'm slapping him and you, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Don't play with me. Don't be dumb. Don't be ignorant. This sharp, homie. Y'all get it fucked up. Don't ever get it fucked up. This shit ain't new, homie. We just reinventing the way. Punk rock ass bitch. Squad, no man, church. Y'all know what it is. Wait till them no mask ski masks come out, man. Them gonna be the ones. Them gonna be the ones right there. Somebody just asked. How the most dumbest question ever, but I get it. I like I'm gonna answer it for you. How do I become a pimp? Church, get on. Stop. It's the problem with y'all. Yeah, but uh, Yuri, shout out to him and his chick. Shout out to both of them. If you ask me, I don't think they should be together anymore. Not even that. I always say they should take just a little break and see if they miss each other. If you don't miss each other, then maybe that's where y'all was supposed to be. That's always been my um, 
my outlook to it. And it's just my opinion, you know, and it's okay to do that. That doesn't mean that y'all separate. And that just means that, you know, y'all might just take a little break. You ain't got to go fucking with other people, no nothing. But sometimes it's okay to take some time to yourself, man. That shit will get over, overwhelming for anybody. That's why people bump heads, man. People bump heads, and this is a general statement. People bump heads because they're around each other too much. You got to give yourself a chance to miss one another. Sometimes a couple days don't do it. You know, you need a little bit of time in between to see if you really miss that person. If you miss them, okay, then maybe you should be fucking with them and wanting to be around them. But if you don't and you see that your situation is getting better or you see even if you are missing them and your situation is getting better, it's all about your situation getting better. That's why people got to come together. People can't be your downfall, man. They cannot be your downfall in your life. They cannot be your downfall in your life, man. I swear to you, just listen to me. If I ever told you fucking anything, do not let people be the downfall of your fucking life. You ever notice when bad shit happens, you get to point fingers at people, not things. Don't point your finger at things. I don't point what? When bad shit happens to me, I'm supposed to point this at this camera and blame the camera. I'm supposed to blame this lighting. I'm supposed to blame the microphones. No, what we do is we start blaming people, man. So what we got to do is start to remove the bullshit. Cut the cancer, homie. It hurts. It does. It's not easy, man, especially when you have been around somebody for a while. But you know what? You owe it to yourself, man. Don't stick around to something that ain't going to better you. And it's not always about the bread, even if it's just motivation. And somebody just motivate you to want to be a better person. Shit, that's, that's money. I get it. You know, that's priceless. That's valuable. But find that. Don't just be fucking with somebody just to be fucking with a man. And you fuck with them because y'all just, this is all y'all know. Y'all used to each other. We'll get unused to each other. You don't tell me to shut my ass up because you're still with the bitch that makes you miserable. I understand. I get it, church. I fucking understand. Like, don't even trip it. I get it. I get it 100%. You're still with the bitch that makes you miserable. That's why you don't want to hear this shit because the truth hurts, nigga. But guess what? You still got to put them motherfucking shoes on, church. You don't want to got to wake up with that shit. Not me. I'm going to wake up feeling great, nigga, doing what I want to. You're going to wake up doing what you can and what that bitch tell you you can do. So I get it, church. I get it. We got a couple more super chats. We got, uh, we got dabs. Appreciate you, Dab says. Sharp bro, much love to your first, second. To you first, second, appreciate all the entertainment you give. I watch every day this shit. This shit, some to be celebrated. Kill Squad in the chat. Throw them sticks up. Nomads in this bitch. You know what the fuck it is, nigga. You know what it is already, Jack. Come on. We moved to a different accord. I can't wait to see how many other chapters get started. But the Nomads, we're going to be the strongest, nigga. Can't fuck with us. We believe in certain policies, man, that just, we're like the union, you know? We running a little bit differently up over here. Geo Red, shout out to you. Said much love from Southeast Dago, man. Call Dago. Call Dago, man. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what we on. Run them likes up. Subscribe. Tell a friend, man. We run these things at night. I run the night. Them niggas run the day. I run the night, baby. 
Feel me? Love all y'all, man, even the haters. Why you keep spamming the same shit, Georgia? Like, stop. Might have been funny the first time, but like now you just beating a dead horse. SF Daniel, shout out to you, Sharp. What's your number one advice for pulling a good wife? <coughs> um, to be honest with you, bro, <coughs> pulling a good wife, I can't even. I can't tell you that because a lot of niggas, there's a lot of men that thought that they pulled a good wife and then pulled a fucking demon. So, I mean, hey, I, I wouldn't want to give you any inaccurate information. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't even want to do you like that because I could tell you like, oh, well, this is the one that you should pull. And then this bitch does something, bro, that just fucks you and her whole life up and crashes out. Nigga, and y'all burn in a fucking ball of fire and your kids got to grow up with no parents. And I wouldn't want that, you know? I wouldn't want that. Dabs, I appreciate you, man. Again, man, he said, uh, wise man once said, ain't nothing come to a sleeper but a dream. You feel me? You damn right. Or a damn nightmare. So stop sleeping. Get on your game. Sleep when you're dead. Get your rest, but man, sleep when you're dead. Don't be sleep to the world. Don't be sleep to your life and what it can become. For real. Too many people sleeping. Sleeping, man. I was sleeping. That shit fuck with you, you know? Haunts you. Make you never want to be sleep on anything ever again. Where does everybody want to go in life? You know, what's everybody, it's everybody's goal. I know get money, right? But a lot of us don't ever get to really touch a lot of that sometimes. It's like that and I get it, I understand. That's not even no hate, that's no diss this evening. You know, um, if you can't touch a lot of money, right? What would you want to do? What would you want to have, you know? What would be valuable to you other than family? You know, something that makes you feel good. Something that you're like, hey, it, it's not money, but it's something I love. It's something that I enjoy life having. Deuda Taylor said, oh, gee, what you think about the Nickelodeon CEO screwing kids? I mean... I thought it was odd when the man would come over to this boy Drake Bell house and his parents would allow this man to be in a room with this kid, but with a closed door. I, I don't, this is the, these are the problems. Listen, these are the things that we never raise any eyebrow to that a lot of these parents and these adults were involved. It's not just the person that was doing it. When you start to listen to where some of this shit took place and where 
how it was happening. I wish I would let a fucking grown ass man be in my room with my daughter, my son that ain't got nothing to do with us. Ain't our family member. I don't give a fuck if it is our family member. What the fuck you doing behind the closed door of my kid? What, what are you doing? Like, it's not happening. I don't understand how real parents are allowing that to happen. I don't get it. Make it make sense to me, please. Make it make sense. I need to know. How do you know? How do all these parents, like, they're around, like, what, you just got this man in the house? Why he closing doors if y'all ain't there? And heaven forbid he's over there teaching him something while y'all ain't there and y'all was just cool with him sliding through to the house. And you know what's so cold? Because it seems like Drake Bell and probably a lot of them kids tried to say something, but them parents ignored it, man. These are kids. The kids going to try to tell you the truth. When they're as young as he was and some of these like, man, they're going to try to like, hey, like the parents had to be cool, man, and shutting these kids down. I mean, come on, like, what the fuck? Kites, appreciate you. Or kids, kids or kites said, how do you recognize fake friends without paranoia? I mean, shit, come on. You know the answer to that one. They start showing you. Believe somebody the first time. That's where we all go wrong. When somebody shows you something, we always ignore the signs, don't we? Somebody will tell you. A lot of niggas, man, niggas be dumb because even with niggas, a bitch can tell you that she's crazy or a nigga can show you that he's crazy, but you think it's cute when he beating the niggas up up the street, right? Think it's cute when he whooping their ass and doing shit to people. Oh, he's so cute, he crazy. But once the niggas start putting hands on you, he's crazy, he's deranged. Get him out of here, he's a psychopath. <clears throat> Let's be real. Let's be all the way 1,000 about it. You got to believe somebody when they show you the first time. You ain't got to have no paranoia about it. Believe it the first time they show you. You cannot blame nobody but yourself. If a person shows you, a motherfucker going to show you what it is. You got to watch how they treat other people. Don't just necessarily go off of how they treat you at the time. You got to watch how they treat other people, man, because eventually you're going to get there. You're going to be them other people. Eventually, you will be those other people. A motherfucker show you exactly who they are. It's just us. We ignore it at the time because we try to see something else. You know, and that's a good thing as a person, trying to find the good in the person, even when they fuck up or they have something bad but I feel like a lot of that shit be just lust like you might just be lusting for this person it ain't even because you even necessarily like them you hate their lifestyle you don't like anything really about what they do but how many bitches I've, I've met especially today and like even though I'm retired you know they be like man I like you a lot but I don't like that you was a pimp. Man, all right then. Bitch, you already let me know what it is. I'm talking about bitches hit me up all the time. Be like, man, you fine as hell. I want to fuck with you. I want to talk to you. But I don't like that you were a pimp. So she's letting me know that I can fuck with her, right? I can fuck with her. And she'll fuck with me and probably be cool and lust her ass on the fuck out, man. Toot her little butt up in the air. Do all this shit, right? But eventually, she's pretty much letting me know that um, that will come, that will become a problem later on down the long run. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just, I don't know. I don't be with that shit. I look into the future. For 
for real. Bitch might like you. They like the idea of you. Niggas need to catch the catch that drift, man. Understand, and even with the, the bitch, like understand that a nigga might like the idea of you. Can he really accept who you are? Same thing with a man. Can he really accept who you are? Or however it goes both ways. But y'all know what I'm saying. Like, you got to really know that about a person. Can you accept what the fuck this person does? Long story short, can you accept? everything that they're already showing you with other people and other surroundings and how they treat their life. I definitely pay attention to how a motherfucker treats themselves. I'm going to keep it real with you. I pay attention to that shit because that's going to tell me how you're going to treat everything around you from your kids to your money to just your everyday living. I'm, I'm like I'm trying to really go off of like it's quite like how do you like without having paranoia? Fuck the paranoia. You need to look at that shit for face value and understand what it is, and that you have a choice to still deal with that person. Do not blame them for what the fuck they already showed you in the very beginning. Cause now that don't sound like a a them problem. That sounds like a you problem. That's your personal problems, not theirs. They've been showed you. Filt up with game, man. Filt up with it. Maybe that's why I know how to solve a lot of problems with a lot of, you know, everyday people. I love all y'all, man. I'm glad that I could be of service. I really am. Like, I'm glad that I'm of service to you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all y'all, man, because y'all stuck with me. Y'all saw me from the soft white underbellies. Y'all have watched the evolution. I appreciate all y'all for everything, man, and for everything that we will become in the future. And I ain't never going to forget y'all, and I ain't never going nowhere. We here. We fucking here. Love each and every one of y'all, baby. Straight up. And I might not got a whole bunch of, like, people ask me for cash apps and all this shit. Like, man, I ain't going to send you no money. I can send you some game. I can give you some game. Give you some motivation to get through your day, get through your week. You know, um, because I've been there, I can feel it. You know, I understand, man. And I'm not afraid to talk about it, the downs, the things that come with a lot of this shit. You know, um, life's not easy, especially when you're trying to take care of things. There's a lot of people that don't have moms and dads or, you know, situations to lean on where they do have to pay their own rent and pay their own shit. There's a lot of people, man, 27, 28 years old, still living at home with mama and daddy. Like, how dare you? Like, that shit's crazy to me. That shit's insane. That shit's insane. Staying at home, like, how dare any of y'all, man? Anybody that's sitting here tonight talking shit to me or talking shit to anybody else, and you living, you do not have time for this. I'd respect, like, some people's, like, issues and shit they might want to talk about or diss me or even want to talk in a positive way. If you ain't got your shit taken care of at home, you need to be taking this game and you need to be getting your ass the fuck up and you need to be going and doing something about it. Time waits for no man. Father Time gives a fuck about nobody. He's going to move the way everything's supposed to move. He's not going to stop for you. Get your ass the fuck up and get up out their house and sitting up over there stressing that woman out because that woman don't even feel like she can pass in peace. And I ain't even saying that anybody's family should be sick or haven't even do that. But like, think about it because death does happen. What, what if that does happen? Last thing she got to think about is being stressed out because she don't know what the fuck about to happen with you. She don't know or he, your dad don't know what the fuck's about to happen with you because they feel like they can't even leave you in the world by them. So like kids are supposed to be able to make your parents feel blessed, not stressed. I'm 
telling the real. If you sitting at your motherfucking parents' house tonight, you ain't got a dollar in your pocket, but your ass online and you talking crazy, get your ass off and go get to the bag, man. Get to the munyan. The fuck are you doing, nigga? You ain't even, you can't even afford to hate on somebody right now. That's fucked up. A lot of people don't even understand that. You can't even afford to hate on somebody. People try to find free shit to do. I get it. But this really ain't free. It's taking time from you to hate on the next person or to go do whatever the fuck it is you do online versus you making some money and taking care of your fucking business. This is supposed to be enjoyable. See, some people wouldn't take this bad if they had their shit ordered. There are some people that should be here tonight. There's some people that shouldn't be here tonight. You feel me? And we all know that. There's a truth to this. There's a fucking truth to what I'm saying. And you know it. There's some people that should be here tonight. There's some people that shouldn't be. Mama and daddy can't even get you a proper gift for Christmas or things like that. You know, just when they see you, because they know, nigga, you need wife beaters and socks and underwear, nigga. They get you shit they know you need, nigga. They ain't even getting you shit. They would just want to get you a gift. Should be at 26, 27 years old, just a gift that you would want to get. Something they, like they would want to get you, rather. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers getting shit that they need because they parents see like you don't even take care of yourself. Nigga, you getting socks and wife beaters, nigga. Let's keep it real. Some of you bitches is getting gift cards at Victoria's Secret. You better go up in there and go get you some new thongs. You've been whooping them same motherfuckers out for a while. Your mama know it. She just don't want to tell you. She just don't even want to tell you. She's going to give you a gift card. She's going to get you some Bath and Body Works shit. You're going to get a Bath and Body Works card. You're going to get a motherfucking Victoria's Secret card, bitch. You already know what you're getting. You get them every year. That should tell you something. That should tell you something, for real. Honestly. You know, I hope even... Like, I like leaving even these behind, right? I'm going to be real with you. Like, I love doing content because, long story short, we ain't got to talk about it. I know my kids going to watch this shit. And I hope my kids really learn from this that, hey, man, there's certain ways that you got to move. It's not about how I move, man. It's about how we're supposed to make society move forward. Problem with motherfuckers, man. Hockey stick it the fuck up, man. Everybody getting motherfucking gift cards, man. Victoria's Secret. Bath and Body Works. Everybody getting it, man. You niggas is getting white beaters and socks, and you niggas gonna have to settle with Hanes, nigga. You ain't getting no polo, no polo, nigga. No Ralph Lauren. No Ethica, nigga. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nigga, you getting straight Hanes. Fruit of balloons, boy. Yeah. Fruit of balloons is what you getting. A lot of zillions. I've been down with my dude. Appreciate you, by the way, sweetie. I've been down with my dude, but I did fuck off with the bread for a minute. Now he's locked up, down, locked down, and thinks I'm I'm doing the same. What can I do to reassure? I'll tell you what you can do to reassure. Get your weather together and go get your bread the fuck back up. Right now is the time you need to be taking it the most serious. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you mean? Reinsurance. Reinsurance is taking care of your motherfucking business. That way, when he go lay his head down at night, he know everything taken care of at home. Make him feel good about it. Reinsure him. Show him books taken care of, nigga. Money stacked at home. Everything's taken care of, man. When you get out, everything's going to be cool. Don't let the nigga get out like you try to promise him a whole bunch of bullshit neither. And then once the nigga get out, he get out to nothing. Bitch, you probably, you ain't even in the house. You've been staying in a hotel. Your hair ain't been done. Your nails fucked up. And bitch, your phone on 1% and your charger broke. Don't let him get out to that. Don't let him get out to that. Bitch, what's wrong? Like, what are you doing? Like, what are we really on?
zone on one percent, shit's fucked up. You got hot Cheeto fingers. You've been sucking on them. They still red. Nail broke. Nigga, get out. You probably got eight hundred dollars. You still trying to make another jug? No, have everything together. You ain't had to go do shit, bitch. Besides, take care of business. I don't even know what that means. Worried about his goofy ass. Like, what are you talking about? Like, word that right, bro. I'll read it for you for the F. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I've been, but I did fuck the bread off for a minute. That's crazy. Like, come on, baby. And y'all be wondering why. See, and y'all be talking all this shit, right? And this is why some bitches be really do need instructions, my nigga. Like, it's very vital. You know what I'm saying? She fucked the bread off because she ain't had nobody there telling her, hey, how to move. It's just what it is. Some bitches need guidance. I don't give a fuck if it's their wife, their girlfriend, man. Like, a bitch needs some guidance, man. She need a man that know how to step in and take care of business, something that she can listen to, not be able to run the show. Because once she starts running the show... Church, you just turn into a Joe, you know, and a fucking joke, you know, it's, it's just what it is. I promise you, homie. I've learned that once a bitch knows that, and this is some real solid game, once a bitch knows that you really need her and it's just her and it's just you and she know you really need her, watch how different that bitch act. How do these bitches act different? Bitches are acting different. She already know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need me? Oh, for sure. This is only source? Oh, for sure. Bitches start acting different, man. That's why, fellas, man, you got to stay on your game, bro. You got to stay in position at all times. You got to stay in position at all times because you're going to have bitches like this. That See, that stems from baby girl, like, little, let me see. Alana Zillions, I've been down with my dude for a minute, but I did fuck the bread off for a minute. Now he's locked down. I think I, he thinks I'm doing the same. What can I do to reassure? She been fucking up. She ain't give a fuck about that, man. She ain't gave a fuck. Real shit. If you bend down, stand on business. If you bend down, Zillions, you say it's zillions, you should have been down, should have been no problems. A nigga, jewelry game, his whole kit should be cold when he, when he get out. But you been fucking it off. Because you acting like a lost little bitch. You acting like you's a puppy, not acting like one of them real dogs out here. No, fuck that. See, that's the problem with niggas. She can fuck off all day. Nigga, what you mean as long as the bill's paid, nigga? Man, fuck all that, bro. You're down. You're not out to spend the bread, nigga. She's cool. She don't need that much, nigga. And last time I checked, you don't need that much neither when you're up in there, bro. Shit, I'm going to make jug while I'm up in there. Please. Yeah, right. I want my whole kit together when I get out, nigga. No problems fuck you mean you about to hop outside to some sad shit nigga you already living some sad shit might as well go ahead nigga make sure that shit stack the fuck up come on man what the fuck going on shit nigga make sure that shit stack up church what you doing
You in jail, nigga. What you need? Like what we what we really need? Some commissary, nigga. We trading, nigga. We moving. Like I play store to keep me busy. So why the fuck would you need to do anything, nigga? I don't know. Your books should be stacked up. Everything should be cool, nigga. Fuck you got going. Nigga, exactly, nigga. Need that bag stacked up, nigga, when a nigga get out. Because a nigga gonna want to make some plays. Nigga, what the fuck you mean? Nigga, we need to make some plays, bro. Shit. You wouldn't want to get out to a cool little 60, 70 piece stacked up for you just real quick, nigga, in seven, eight months. You sitting down. Yeah, the bitch got to take care of bills and all the shit and make sure you still cool and she cool with having the things. You can still have a cool little 70, 80. You don't know what the bitch going to hit for, but you can at least still stack that. Shit, fuck we doing? Y'all crazy as hell. Like my nigga, I'm like, yes, DJ, man. Shit, stack that shit the fuck up, nigga. Fuck you mean. I see you at the rendezvous point, bitch. We fuck you talking about. Nigga, please. Why niggas be broke, nigga? Nigga be wearing Team Jordans when he get out, nigga. You could have been bossed the fuck up, nigga, as soon as you touch down, nigga, and still go make some plays. Fuck you talking about? When I get out, I want to know it's good, nigga. As soon as I touch down, bitch gonna have probably land on the bed. When I was in that program, you know, shit, bitch gonna have a land out, man, ready, fresh fit, whatever's in at the time, jewelry game, whole kit, nigga, shit. I'm gonna make sure it's right. You ain't got nothing to do, nigga, besides make sure your game step the fuck up when you get out. That's why I always loved it about my white homie, nigga, out of Tennessee, nigga, Mac Doe, nigga. That nigga went and did time, nigga. That nigga sat down, made sure, nigga, the bitch stayed loyal, made sure she ran it. Man, oh, man, what? Real ones out here, man. You, you'll see the programs, like, for real. You supposed to get out and be that nigga, man. You ain't supposed to get out and be like, well, damn, bitch, we staying in this fucking one-bedroom Little studio, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We need to, man, hold on. Have that shit up, nigga. You wasn't doing shit. STJ, tell them, church. Kill squad. We got to stack up something, nigga. It's got to be up. Nigga, fuck you mean, nigga. At least, huh? Like you said, nigga, realistically, even a 30 piece, nigga, you wasn't doing shit. That shit should be up, bro. No problems. You should be mad at the 30 bands. Like, damn, bitch, I thought we was going to have up more, but the bitch ran into some hiccups along the way, and she talked to you about all of them. Man, come on. And you know it'd be so fucked up. Why would the bitch? Hey, you know, STJ, I rock with you. I'm going to keep saying, you know, because I rock, I rock with how you moving. If you really look at it, right? Like, the bitch, she should want to have it up for you regardless, man. It should want to be up, nigga. She shouldn't even, you shouldn't even have to have no hiccups. The bitch ain't going to want to spend too much anyway because she don't know what to do with it without you. She ain't gonna wanna do it without you, man. Now if she really fuck with you, she gonna want it to be up. And you know what? To be real, I get it. When a lot of niggas go to jail, he don't leave the bitch a lot to work with. So, you know, it's hard too because the bitch she be feeling locked up with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, nigga, she's, she's locked up with you, church. Some of these bitches don't know how to move without you. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's how I know I'm about to get a blessing. 
So I know I'm about to touch a big old bag. She don't know how to do it without you sometimes. Like even the, the regular squarest dude, man. It's not about being in the game, none of that shit. She don't know how to do it without you sometimes. So you got to understand that too, bro. Like for the niggas out there. Some of these bitches don't know how to do it without you. In the square state of mind. Ox Mooney, I appreciate you, man. No, I ain't gonna lie to you, Church. I touch a good bag out in the jumper. It's all right. What you need to be worried about is what bag are you touching? And how is it looking for you? And are you doing what you really want to do? And don't play dumb. Is everybody out there tonight doing what the fuck they really want to do? That's important. Yeah, man, hockey sticks, man. Shout out to the whole crew, Brick Baby. You know, Gordy, everybody out there, Skante hockey sticks. Shout out to all the homies, man, for real. Let me check on my homie Skante hockey sticks. Let me make sure he good. Check on church. The person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box. Oh, I hope he ain't passed out yet. He probably already even got faded. Say so fuck it. Yeah, he, he done for the night. I'm gonna definitely go catch up with him and uh with him and Linwood. He asked me to come sit down with him and Linwood. Man, I fuck with Linwood, big ass. She cool as hell. I can't wait to uh, do a pod with her. We're gonna definitely run that one up. Yeah, no, Skante Hockey Sticks. That's that's comparator name, nigga, from, from Kill Squad. Skante Hockey Sticks. So, yeah, y'all get it right. Throw some love, you know what I'm saying? Put, don't try to put paint in a place where it don't need to be. Shout out to the whole squad, man. Shout out to all the nomads out there, man. I can't wait till that mask drop, nigga. It's about to separate everything. Man, what? Yeah, man. A nomad section. You know, we all from the same section. We just all solos, man. You know how I go. Yeah, I wonder where my nigga Skante Aki Sticks is. Nigga, I'll be having to check on church. Yeah, now it's going to, yeah, church. Or freeze that. Yeah. 
Hey, gang, I see you, man. Shout out to my nigga Freeze. Yeah, we in the building, man. Shout out to the old Kill Squad, man. Shout out to Scante Hockey Sticks. <laughs> yeah, church. Shout out to him, Brick Baby. Gordy, freeze you in the building, man. We up in this motherfucker. You hear me? Y'all know what it is. You already know what it is, man. Straight up. get moving I love all y'all man love fucking with y'all y'all know what it is y'all know what the fuck we do when I come on the late night you hear me yeah for real <laughs> <laughs> my nigga man yeah freeze make the move church yeah straight up that's my nigga we only just talk to him that's my people No, Scante, hey, look, Scante Hockey Sticks put some respect on his name, man. You know what I'm saying? Scante Hockey Sticks from Kill Squad. He doing good, man. Shit, I'm about to go sit down with him and Linwood. I think that one's going to be crazy. Let's see. We got uh, Dabs again say, you think since the last pod, Scante Hockey Sticks going to have everything he been schooled on, soak in now. I see when y'all was live, he seemed real, embraced by motivation, which we all need sometimes. Yeah, no, I think he gonna do better. I think the nigga gonna do better, man. I definitely do. I think he's gonna do better. I think it's gonna be a much better, uh, better Scante hockey sticks we gonna see. Most definitely. I think we're going to see a, a much better Scante. We're going to see a much better Scante. Brianna, shout out to you. You already know what it is. Appreciate y'all being in here. All the moderators. Everybody I fuck with, hey, man, live feed, you know what it is. Motherfuckers slide through, man, when I'm here. Yeah, man. Time to relax tonight. Y'all know what it is. Shit, man. If y'all want me to stay for a little longer, man, hockey stick the chat up, man. If not, put T-Rail little hands in it. If you want me to stop, y'all want me to turn it off. Put them hockey sticks or little hand, T-Rail little hands. Straight up. Go get me some ice.
Yeah, y'all want me to stay on? Yeah, it's either hockey sticks or T-Rail low hands. <laughs> T-Rail, you know. <laughs> you know I fuck with you, church. Ain't nothing but love, man. <laughs> but nigga, this shit war, nigga. Hey, the best man win. I might not be straight as much as you, but you know I'm going to make a motherfucking impact, nigga. You know I'm going to do this shit for real and not for play, man. You dig. You say I can't fuck with T-Rail. T-Rail can't fuck with me, man. Straight up. What the fuck are we talking about? Shit. T-Rail can't fuck with me, my nigga. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, nigga. Shit, I came in already with motion, my own motion. Nigga, I had nobody bring me in. Nigga, I came in on my own accord. Everybody know that. Let's put some respect on it, nigga. Straight up. Let's not talk about how it really is. Nigga, I came in on my own accord, nigga. I came in with my own motion already, wherever the fuck I found it. So, nigga, let's not play no games. Everybody want to act like all this bullshit, but let's keep that shit a band, nigga. And I don't ever talk about nothing. I'm just keeping that shit real. It is what it is. <laughs> nigga, let's keep that shit a band. Homie, been doing, been doing views, been doing numbers. Don't matter what it is. I've been staying down for it. I'm not always here to be the funny guy. Yeah, I kick my shit. Yeah, we laugh. We do our shit. But I always try to make sure everybody walk away with some motherfucking good game. You dig? Straight up, nigga. That's what I'm here for. I'm in my own lane. I've been in my own lane. I'm not trying to be the next nigga. I don't give a fuck. Or that shit don't even matter to me. That shit don't even be on my mind. I ain't got nothing against T-Rail, back on Fig, none of that shit, nigga, man, but Fig, Munity World, none of that, homie, but everybody knows Sharp stand on Sharp business, nigga, straight up, and I'm gonna stay doing what the fuck I do. I don't hate on nobody, nigga, I don't gotta talk, man, I wish everybody from the camp, man, hey, man, the best, nigga, get your bread, nigga, or quote unquote, y'all chili, niggas go get what they gonna get. But I already know what it is. This shit war, nigga. We here. This the art of war. I'm sure there's one thing my partner, even my partner Freeze can understand because where I come from, me and him, man, came back from many moons. This shit was always a one-man sport, bro. Anything we ever did, especially in some pimping, this is a one-man sport, church. Shit, yeah, dude. I love playing for a team. Shit, that's what I came from, having to have a team. But shit, what I've always known how to do was it's just a one-man sport. You got to build the team. Hey, man, that team come with you. Straight up, I've been used to that. So, like, I mean, that shit don't mean nothing, homie. It is what it is. I got nothing but love for all them niggas. But let's remember, homie, I still am sharp, dog. I've been doing this shit, too. You can't shun niggas. Nobody can shun my name from this. Nigga, you feel me? Niggas can't shun my name from this. I come from a whole different group. And look, this what the this what the game do right here, man. Freezy, appreciate the honey, man. Excuse my manners. Got to come through in a gentleman like fashion. Hey, for real, like, come on, dog. These be my people, bro. Like, he's my friend. Like, this how we move. And you know what, Freeze? I'll be doing niggas' channels, too. I done donated three, four hundred. Hey, man, niggas that don't even come from the game, church. You feel me? Just because that's how we move, man. We always try to support and show love. Nigga, when I come to your shit, church, you know I got 500 for it, nigga. That's easy, bro. As soon as you go live, I'm in there. Man, R.I.P. sinful, man, for real. Fuck what the naysayers got to say, man. Niggas ain't never did certain to some of this shit, homie.
If these niggas like freeze and keep me moving, man, don't they know what this shit really come with and where we come from. Y'all let some niggas in the game in the mix of this social media, like this craft, the media, and all this shit, homie. We got all walks of life. Accept all of them. Don't just accept the gang banging, the drug dealing, the politics. No, nigga, accept it all. It all come out the street. It all come out the street, man. Respect it all. If you're going to respect it. Like I said, hey, man, shout out back on Fig, Fig Community World. I mean, all that church, but y'all niggas can't never say, hey, man, we got to talk them numbers. Hey, y'all already know how it's going to go. It's going to take me and Adam to sit down and we figure out however the fuck we need to move. But, nigga, I know how it go, bro. This all strategic movements, homie. Like, I ain't no fool, my nigga. Come on, dog. No dumb. Y'all would have got me over there, nigga. We would have been looking at 30,000 watching live, nigga. Yeah, right. It ain't happening. It ain't happening, bro. Unless we talking turkey. And like I said, my team got to be on board, nigga. Straight up. Because I got to see, because I don't just value the money. You feel me? I value the relationship. That's what you got to stand on. That's what people fail to realize. I value relationships more than anything. I value relationships. I value every single one of them niggas' relationships, but I feel like we got to get in a better place, church. I refuse to step anywhere for just content, homie, because niggas will say it's content, but then it turn into some other shit, so I'm not about to... I want to make sure I know where we stand, homie, and we can really put a bag together. I mean, that's what I've always been about. I'm going to eat regardless, my nigga. I just want to make sure shit, we all like, I want to make sure they eat, they family, everybody, we all going to eat. And we all, because I got a lot of shit to say too and I got a lot of shit to get off my chest too, but I'm not going to do it just for nothing. I'm not going to do that. Because anything that's asked to me, I'm going to say how I feel about it. I'm going to do the right, I'm going to say the right shit. I'm not going to sit there and be, nah, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I've been over there already. I've been on niggas' streams already. I've done it all. So we, we can't say I never went to Back on Fig. We can't never say I ain't never went to Community. We can't never say I never went to Ace Boys. We can't never say I've went to everybody's shit, homie. Everybody's. But everybody come up over here. I know it ain't much in the room, nigga, but whatever it is, shit, we in the box. Shit, nigga, it is what it is. I done went to everybody's shit, homie. On like a motherfucker. Getting millions, millions of views. I still do good. Yeah, it might not be super millions, but shit, I'm still touching 700s. I'm still touching hundreds. I'm still touching 80s here. I'm touching his, his, that's the pot. That's the game. We all know this the game. I'm not mad at it. I love it. It makes me want to work harder. How about everybody come up over here, nigga? Shit, we we'll pack this motherfucker up. We we'll pack this motherfucker up. Y'all already know what it is with me, man. It's sharp, church. I always just stood on my own business, my nigga. That's where I come from.
Yeah, I would love to have T Rail over here. I would love to have A D Duno. Nigga, bring everybody. Shit, nigga, I'm one of the last niggas breathing over there, man. From where I'm from. We none of us can put no respect on that. None, huh? What, people refuse to watch? Or people don't want to come support like they did by the masses? Because I'm where I'm at? I love where I'm at. And you should love that for me. Y'all love everybody else for where they at, nigga. Love me from where I'm at, for where I'm at in this shit. And my growth. Everybody went left, man, went with their own people and who they was with. I had to start a band. It's, I got a whole different cast. Whole different supporting cast now. Brick Baby, fucking Almighty, like Remo. Like, I got a whole different cast now man even man Dejan fucking Flacco everybody pulls they like they wait for who they are homie like he we got left to work with that so I see the the growth with all these guys man all these guys homie everybody who be in that fucking building Hellcat everybody's trying to step up and pull their fucking weight no matter what the naysayers say I feel like we in a great place. I'm not in no competition with niggas, but I know this shit's a war, and that's why in war, you got to concentrate on what you got going on. That's how you going to shine. I'm not worried about what the next person doing, how many views, no, nothing. Hey, man, we just, we here. Because either way, we got to stand on it. So I'm going to stand on it, whether it's I win or lose, we win or lose, we here. Everybody here. No jumper here to stay. Motherfuckers got to respect that shit. Nigga, we went crazy at Rolling Loud. What, nobody want to talk about that? And everybody already seen it. Everybody, man, liked it. The shit went viral. Everything that we did over there. It all went viral. Let's talk about that. Everything that we did that entire weekend. No Jumper was one of them dogs. We was in the fight. Brick Baby really became one of my, like, that's one of my road dogs, man. That's the junkyard dog. Like, for real, that's one of my dogs right there because we moved through all this shit. Almighty. All of us. Flacco even. Nigga with his snitch ass. We all moving through this shit, man. What motherfuckers want from us? Show us some love or don't show it none at all, nigga. Keep moving. So I think everybody that had to stand in that fucking building for the last year deserves they fucking roses, homie. For what this shit done came through, all the slander, everything, homie. Let's think about it still going on to this fucking day. Everybody in that fucking building deserved they fucking flowers who had to stay down, man. For real. And I can understand that shit. Niggas don't want to give roses to that. But if we all die tomorrow, niggas will be like, man, them niggas was them niggas, homie. Straight up. Keep it real. Nobody want to give it to us when we there and we really putting in the work every motherfucking day. People expected No Jumper to go into the fucking water. People say, oh, man, it's over for No Jumper. Man, we still man, we still hear that. But guess what? The numbers reflect, man. It don't, it don't show that. We're there. We built it back. Yeah, it fell for a second because a lot of the shit, it was a lot of turmoil, man. People didn't know how to be real. Everybody was getting jerked in different directions. And I'm talking about the viewer. Motherfuckers didn't even know how to separate. Hey, man, that's they, we love this platform. We love this platform. We're watching it all. There were some that were like that. But there was a lot that wasn't. And we had to build it back through time because people start showing you their true colors. Hey, I've always stayed the same, baby. 
I ain't never changed through none of it. Hate it or love this shit, man. It's the same. It's always going to be the same. You're going to get this shit. It's, I can stand on this fucking product. I can stand on this product, man. Niggas don't want to hear me talk about it. For real, for real. Like, I can stand on this product, church. I've been moving. Let's not treat me like I had to. Listen, homie. I went to No Jumper. That was the first place I ever fucking went to. Let's talk about it. It did good. I stayed. I didn't have to go to other colleges, nigga. I went to one. That shit, I thrived, man. I'm the shit. What else, do I, what else am I supposed to do? That's how I'm supposed to go. And that shit was by accident. Adam gave me a chance. None but love the fucking Adam. And now look where we're at. People trying to say, Sean fell off. Fell off where, nigga? My numbers still show. They still, y'all don't even know. You type in Sharp, it's hard to even get to my fucking interviews, man. There's so much shit that's about me, clips about me. Here's a fucking conundrum of fucking clusterfuck of everything when it comes to my name. We all know this shit. We all know what come with me. And for the naysayers, fuck you. You know, I ain't going to lie. Like, I used to hate the ready, but I love y'all, man. Keep that shit going. Keep that shit going, homie. This is how this shit's supposed to move. We all work together. I was working against y'all for a while, but you know what? Now I'm working with you. I get it. I understand. Some of this shit do need to be talked about. And, like, the bullshit that be going on, like, I be feeling some of it. Because I be like, yeah, that shit really do be happening. But I've always tried to stay solid to the fan, to the viewer, to what we're doing and how we're going to move. Like, think about it. We talk about, look, Zachary Parsons, I'm going to give you a free one. 61K views. That's all I have to say. I don't know if you talk about me or you talk about the next, but look what we bicker over today. 60,000. Nigga, I was doing a million in six hours. <coughs> <coughs> Let's think about it. I was doing a million in a week. 2.3 million in a month. Come on, bro. I came in and spoiled. For real, bro. But I noticed that shit got oversaturated. Let's keep it real. Nigga, fuck are we talking about? I've hit grand slams multiple times. And I'll agree, Joseph, hey, those days may be over. But I still enjoy what I do and it still does great, you know? So I, maybe the millions, hey, man, at the time it wasn't oversaturated. Now everybody's trying to make content. Let's be real. Everybody's making content, church. There's nobody that's not in the game, right? Like somebody, there's somebody somewhere that's going to clip this as a nobody and going to try to go against it or try to get some fame on it or agree with it, whatever. I mean, I've hit multiple grand slams. And guess what? Half the people that don't fuck with the company now, I've worked with all of them. I've brought them all on at some point in time. You go do the, go do the research. Even ready, ready. I know you're gonna do it for me. Everybody that's been in that building, that's from the old squad. I've done numbers with. I've sat down with nigga and we've ran it the fuck up. No diddy. We've ran it the fuck up. Go type in my.
my name with anybody in the old no jumper, like, you know what I'm saying, like universe and what we were doing on the Sharp Tank, I promise you, you're going to see it. It's all big numbers. Anybody that left that was a host. I can say that humbly. Ask any host that was there that ever sat down with me if they ever ran the numbers up with me and if it was ever a fucking dud. I didn't know Cam Girl. I never got to meet her. I never got to work with her. Shout out to Cam Girl. I never, I never got to work with Baby. Never worked with Hakeem either. Hakeem wasn't there. Cam Girl wasn't there. I worked with anybody that worked in that building from Flacco, Duno. I brought Duno in on the motherfucking, uh, uh, what's that, uh, the fucking, uh, fuck. What I bring Duno in on? Fuck, man. I, I, Hustle mom, man, well, oh my God, Martina. Martina, I love you. Like, I just, my mind was rushing. Like, I had to think about it real quick. Like, but Martina, I brought him in on that one. That one did good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I brought people in. Man, AD done sat down with me. Hell, I done interviewed motherfucking T-Rail. That shit did damn near 500. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done sat with everybody. Hell, I brought DJ Quick in, nigga, on a fucking pod of Disconnected. Let's be real. Did numbers. Nigga, I met this nigga at the bar. Let's not start calling out my credentials, nigga, what I done did. I met this nigga at the bar. Whoever's running the stream right now, guess who I'm bringing? Don't even trip. I'm grabbing some bottles, nigga, and we're about to turn this shit the fuck up. I don't even want to get into Gina. I don't be because I think that one's gonna stand the test of time. I don't even have to say anything about that one. Love to you, Gina. I don't gotta even say nothing even about that one. Just about you nothing. Got nothing to say. Shout out to her. Um, let's really look at some of the ones who the people who've really worked with me though, bro. Y'all all can go look at it right now. Me and Flacco, Madison Morgan, the famous words, Flacco said, got him even, man, got him cracking. I mean, <laughs> you're broke, baby. Let's not forget. Let's not forget, homie. Let's not forget. Don't ever throw me, nigga, in the motherfucking lion's den, nigga, and act like I wouldn't slashing and gashing shit because can't none of them say nothing. All of them done worked with me. Who? Who ain't never did no numbers with me, nigga? We done sat down. Nigga, me, Flacco, Madison, Morgan. Man, what you mean? Who else? Hell, organic. Me, organic. I forgot who the fuck we was sitting with. Did numbers. Fucking, I don't know if that was Kazumi. I don't know who it was. Fucking AD. AD done sat down with me. Did me, man. We done did over a million. Like, nigga, sitting in just panels. Who, who can't say they never sat down with me that was there from, nigga, that was an all-star cast. We ain't never did it and never ran it up, nigga. Even house phone, house phone. I brought it to, nigga, disconnected, nigga. We had DJ Quick on there going crazy. I met this nigga at the bar at my hotel. Smack, nigga. Smack, you can't never say nothing about me, gang. Never in your life. Somebody said you was talking crazy about me, nigga. And if you wasn't, I apologize for what I'm going to say. But, nigga, if you was, church, you know I'm some real game, church. I don't know where you come from, P, and I fuck with you, my nigga. You claim to be in some ism and whatever the case may be. And I feel like there, there's some really some underlying bullshit. I don't think that is what it is. Niggas should just stay true to who they are. But, my, my nigga, I done sat down with you, homie. Me and you done had a fucking heart to heart. You can't never say nothing about me, nigga. I try to give you a voice too, nigga. I fuck with you when I was hot. Don't matter we not hot now, nigga. We got to look at the situation for what the fuck it is. Nigga, I fuck with you, nigga. Shit crazy as fuck where the fuck we at today. All of us. All 
all of us, man. I got history with everybody that done did that iconic shit. And we ain't even getting into the Elizas, the Selenas, nigga, all in, man. I made, man, millions with them bitches, man. Kazumi, Kazumi, you can, she can never. Y'all can never, like, for real, homie. Let's really look at for what this shit really did. Ain't nobody say nothing about me, dog. I've held my own weight. And I've always tried to help. Is where I'm getting to. t Real can't never say fuck sharp. When I was the same nigga, you was you even if you hated it, nigga, you didn't want to utter it off your lips. Hey man, sharp nigga holding number one, he holding the crown right now. Who else gonna do numbers like Sharp, bro? Who else? Who else was doing nigga even at that time? Who else? Like who's gonna do it? Who? And that's real. He knew. That's why he said it the way he said it. You can't never say fuck me, my nigga. Hell, man, respect to even Miss Heavenly, man. Like, she even say, man, how you say fuck sharp? She even understands. She she understood where I come from, man. That's why I love your mama, my nigga. Like, for real. I've had nothing but love for that lady, homie. I'll buy all her pies out tomorrow. She ever told me, hey, sharp, you need to, man, come buy my whole inventory, man. It's good. I don't give a fuck if I don't eat none of them shits. It's so much love I got for that nigga mama because she really embraced me. That's real shit. It'd be hard to like, like, I don't be understanding like some of the shit that be just, that be really going on, bro. I helped a lot of niggas, even if the shit looked bad to whoever, like even Kelpie, man, fucking, fucking Tucker, nigga, all of them, man. I tried to help everybody. It's what you do with your motion, nigga, afterwards. And I ain't talking about T-Rail, none of them niggas. They went and did their own mixture. That ain't even them. But like, I've tried to help people that wasn't doing nothing. I've tried to help a lot of people. Y'all can't never take that from me, ever in life. I've made history, man. I've set some shit in fucking stone. I've tried to fuck with everybody. Only thing is, I hope that didn't water me down. Fucking with everybody. That's my truth, man, to all that shit. I ain't got to go to no, no reunion. And, nigga, we ain't talking about no bread, nigga. That's the problem. We ain't never talked about it. Like, we, we put it together. We wouldn't have these problems. Me and Brick, we'll put it together. We'll figure it out. Like, nigga, let's make some money, nigga. Let's figure this shit out together. I'm not greedy. Hell, I love Adam, man. We all, we make good money. We all make bread together. I can't sit there and act like we don't. That's why I take the little jabs and like the bullshit. Cause I'm like, nigga, shit, we really do be getting money, homie. Like, Adam never capped with that. Like, when he's like, bro, man, our whole squad get bread over there. He makes sure that I can say, I don't give a fuck what content's getting made, what niggas wanna try to dissect. The man makes sure we get paid. Josh, shout out to you. You make sure we get fucking paid, homie. And I know that's why your ass be on us about being there on time, shit like that. Because, like, we do get paid. We get paid cool for what we do. 
And we don't even got to be there all the time. That's why I can't argue with the man when he's mad at us about showing up late or whatever and the news running late. I can't be mad at him because he makes sure that we do get, like, nigga, we don't have to do much besides coming and be ourselves. And they make sure that we get what the fuck we need to get for that. That's why I go show up on the news. I love the news. I love coming and bringing that every morning to y'all, man. Shout out to No Jumper. Shout out to what we doing, homie. Like, don't ever get it fucked up. Kill squad, nigga. Nomad. Y'all know what it is, homie. I'm going to tell y'all what this shit is. I've been a nomad from the beginning. That's why I've been running solo. Y'all know how this shit go. Yeah, man, Billy Lavish, man, 28, man, Kill Squad, man, Hockey Sticks, yeah, man, Kill Squad, nigga, Kill Squad, man, Nomad Division, you know what it is, they're all black, it move. We're going to have to find some black hockey sticks, straight up. I don't know. We're going to use some baseball bats, some black ones or something. We're going to, we're going to do it for real, man. Straight up. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what we own. And I ain't here to hate on nobody. I'm not here to talk bad. I don't want nobody to think that's what it is. But I do stand on every bit of what I said. I think it was some bullshit. I think that we could have did what we needed to do as a collective. But I do understand that people do need to make their moves. I get that. So I can't knock that either. Can't knock that either. That should be some bullshit, though. Niggas can't never knock me, homie. I've tried to work with everybody, and, get, and we all eating. Nigga, the fuck? Can't ever diss me. How? Impossible. Impossible, dog. Impossible. Ain't no fuck me, niggas. Fuck with me. You can't do it. It never happened, bro. Nigga, kill squad, no man. Y'all know what it is and how I run this shit, man. I'm going to do what I do. And we got squad around this bitch. You hear me? Anti-cyber bullies. We not doing it, man. We cutting it off. We cutting that water off. That shit's over with. That shit fucking over with, homie. It's a new wave. That's a new era. I love y'all, man. Catch up with y'all soon. Church.